potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld Potion can treat injuries. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a Goblin Rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. A well prepared witch or wizard, or with a few potions on hand. Rebellion. Potion stations organized and free of clutter. Here's the fooper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. 
You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Should you chop the Didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Dragon oh. duck! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learnt a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Revelio. Was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Ugh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. Revelio. Got a peek at the prefect's bathroom last year. Quite a bit. 
Thomas Brown knows more about books than anyone. Revelio. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. 
It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Hollow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili Land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Hollow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Might I beseech you for some assistance? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? I'm afraid I'm not keen on mucking about at the bottom of lakes. Oh, please don't say no just yet. Perhaps if you understood my plight, you'd change your mind. Perhaps? What precisely do you need to retrieve, and why? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know of your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But 
I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <clears throat> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid man! I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. I see you! Potato production! I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Tell what the time you need to sell. that Knew you were still hanging up. Aha! Uh -huh. Back to the You're a bit dodgy. Stop some. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. <sighs> Are you all right? <sighs> I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the Tales about King Arthur's court were mere myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The mallow suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols? Precisely. 
Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio! Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyres sink. What a day! I can hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. And you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long-lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is.
I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. You didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. But it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your calibre is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Rebellion. Oh, hard work and good luck go hand in hand. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any whispers going about the town? A goblin called Pergit is causing a bit of a stink. His gang is attacking travelling vendors, and now business is suffering everywhere. Uh, it would be nice if someone would do something about it. No one wants to pick a fight with a band of goblins, though. <laughs> Which means he's free to do what he wants down in Coral Ruins. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. My prices are low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> My ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. And what do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Hope to see you again sometime. Lumos. Revelia. I thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. 
I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Renrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? Oh, they've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with Wizardkind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> I wish it had been under better circumstances. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? And what do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Ah, yes. A wonderful choice. I hope to see you again sometime. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. Lumos. Lumos. Incendio. 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 Incendio.
Victory that came none too soon. Ugh. Lumos. Would be proud. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. An encampment. This must be it. I deserve better than patrol duty. as if there's more than one way to enter. <laughs> Oh, 
Always on the Something. Now, to Freon's carts. Lumos. Revelio. Revelio. An enchantment. The carts are returning home. Levioso. Accio. Incendio! Accio! Rebellion. Lumos.
Lumos. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I hope to see you again sometime. If you're here for my wares, I'm... On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know... You've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Lumos. I should investigate. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos.
Lumos. Revelio. Incendio. Rebellion. Lumos. <laughs> 